Hi guys, how are you all? I hope you're all well and I hope you're alright. So today we are going to be doing, it's been a long time since I've done like glam and I don't think I've ever actually done like a video just on glam on here. So it's been a little minute but we're going to be doing something super wearable, not like crazy face paint like normal. Going for, uh, you know, just freshly walk out of bed, going down the stairs to have my presents, Christmas day glam. And I'm going to be answering your questions that I put on Instagram and Facebook for people to ask. So yeah. I've not really read them all, I hope there's nothing too bad. But yeah, let's get started. I will list all the products that I use down below in the bio as well. So if you want to know, then go check that out. If you want to make any purchases, go for it. So, the first question I've got is from Auntie Donna, which is, who's your favourite auntie? <laughs> which, I don't have a favourite. I don't have a favourite, you're all just wacky in your own ways. So, next question is, proudest moment? I think I had this one before, and the one that I did my mum, uh, obviously would be having Jacob. Besides that, because I know everyone's probably thinking, oh, that's such a, not a boring answer, but an obvious answer. Would probably just be this year, like, I know it's been like a crap year, but I've like finally started doing like what I've always wanted to do like obviously I started YouTube like I've always always wanted to do YouTube for as long as I can remember from watching it as a kid and I just never thought I'd ever do it because it's a scary step to take but here I am just embarrassing myself on the internet weekly oh my eyebrows need a little trimmy trim trim what kind of a child were you this has been asked by a family member knowing full well what kind of a child I was I was not a great kid, like, I was naughty as a child, me and my sister used to argue all the time, and then I was not the greatest at school, didn't do very well, didn't really want to do it, just didn't enjoy it, just want what I wanted to do, and yeah, I was naughty at home, but we live and we learn and we have kids ourselves, and then when they're naughty, we feel really bad for everything that we've ever done in this life. Jacob's been so naughty today and now all I can think is my poor mother. Like, cause not to like be that mum, but my kid's quite well behaved compared to some. So if that's stressful for me, I dread to think what my mum went through. Like, he's not really like naughty, just quite cheeky. But today, he's just been, I don't know if it's because he's tired, but he's just been very whingy. So it's been, it's been a difficult day, but every day is an experience of a child, isn't it? Won't change it. I think I don't want to go too much for spiky uppy brows, so I've like brushed them up but like flattened them down as well on the top. So that you can still see like the texture in the hairs. But like still still flared at the top. Ideal date. Oh that's hard because Charlie didn't ever take me on any dates. No, I've been together for like over a year and he's only, we've only been on one date. In fact, I don't know what my ideal date was, we were going to do it this year, but Covid, I just want to go to like Winter Wonderland in London and all the Christmas markets in London around my birthday and just have a really nice weekend, which we were going to do, but Covid cancelled it. I mean, if you want to get saving, Charlie, you could always take me on holiday, that'd be a great date. No, I'm joking. My eyebrows is like really flat and the other's really pointy. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. That kind of looks better. Do you know what as well, right? Completely random. I'm trying to like get back into TikTok again. Because I really were like on it at one point and then I just kind of like got fed off and just gave in but I'm trying to do that again, so my TikTok link is in the bio, so please do go check that out if you like TikTok. 
did that um, snow miser heat miser thing on TikTok, which you can check out on my TikTok. And I did that graphic, not graphic, graffiti neon look last night, which I did upload a short on to hear of, if you want to see what products I used in that and how it turned out. I'm not really keen on shorts, but I just thought it were a nice little way, because I'd just done it, just done the makeup and not filmed it. And then when it turned out kind of okay, I thought, oh, I kind of want people to see it now. And I just thought it were a good little way to show you what products I use to achieve that look. So if you want to see more of them, do let me know. Dream destination. I also have this conversation with my friends. I'm like, just out of blue all the time. Like, if you've got one place, where would you go? And I've asked them all that 12 times now, but I don't think they've noticed. They probably have, but. And I always, always say if I could go, like, the one place I really want to go, it's like not a specific place, but I really want to go to like a rainforest. Like, I just think that'd be the coolest thing in the world. Like, I don't... This this is going to sound really weird, but I love trees. And, like, I can remember watching Twilight as a kid and, like, the forest there just looked amazing. Like, all the really tall, skinny trees close together. I just I just love trees. And when I was younger, I used to love doing, like, photography and art. And it'd always be trees. <laughs> See ya. What would your dream destination be? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear and get like some dream inspo from you because I'll we'll keep it the dream because can't go anywhere because COVID anyway. <laughs> and a cat fod. If you could meet one celebrity, who would it be? I already know this. Th but there's like two, so I'll just tell you my main one. I'm just thinking I don't know what to do my eyeshadow. Just looking in the big eyeshadow box. So yeah, <laughs> anyway. The one celebrity that I'd absolutely love to meet would have to be Hugh Laurie. Like I'm in love with him. And I know he's like an old an older man. <laughs> a fairly older man. But I just think he is absolutely fantastic. Like he's an amazing actor, he's an amazing musician, singer, everything. And I just think I just I don't know, I'd just love to meet not because I like not because I'm like in love with him. I just think he's very like just talented. And like I wanna be around that. <laughs> But yeah, in case you're wondering who the other person was, uh, Robert Pattinson. I love, 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 love him as well. And I hate like Marvel and all that. I'm really sorry, and like superhero stuff. But he's a new Batman, so I think I might be getting myself into Marvel pretty soon. If you haven't watched Remember Me, you need to watch that. It's the most emotional film in the world. What's it like being part of a big family? I'm just a bit of a confusion, really. No, I'm joking. It's honestly, it's amazing. Like, you've got so many people to turn to when you need something or you've got when you need like hell you've got 20 babysitters no i'm kidding um yeah and just it's like we're starting stuff like this it's like you've already got like a built-in not a fan base but like a load of people who you know will support you Obviously you don't have to drag it all the way up like I do, I'm just very into that at the moment. What advice would you give a younger you? <sighs> just just stop in your tracks right now and don't do anything you're about to. <laughs> no, just um God this is really hard. I feel like I'm on RuPaul's drag race at the end. Um just enjoy the ride. Like it is gonna be bloody hard, but you get through it and you do it and you whatever you put your mind to like you can do. Just dream big, don't I've always been like a very is it pessimistic is that the opposite of optimistic either way i've not been a very optimistic person my saying has always been have don't have high expectations and you can't get let down just change like my advice would be to change that way of thinking because you can literally like manifesting and believing and praying and you can do anything like you have survived some tough shit. and look at me now <laughs> So all in all, it does get better. <laughs> Can't talk about emotional things because I get sad and cry. Also, don't eat a bag of Doritos every single day, aren't we, from school? When they say a moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips, they meant it. And I am suffering for that now.
what wishes do you have for your son? I don't know. I just want him to have the bestest life ever. I just want him to be whoever he wants to be and be happy. I don't want him to ever have to go through anything like I have. And I hope that me going through that and being a stronger person will help him to realise his worth and that he never has to go through anything like that. Just need to concentrate. I just want him to have a happy life and I want him to be part of like a big family like I always have been. Like obviously he's born into a big family but like I just want him to have a family. I don't know. That sounds like really weird but obviously like the situation of what's happened and stuff so far. You'll know what I mean. <laughs> I just want him to continue being surrounded by people who absolutely adore him like he is at the moment. And then I will be very happy with that. And I just hope he's not a little bugger. What kind of relationship do you have with your mum and sister? Hopefully Betty didn't lock you in a suitcase. So this is obviously from Mary Donna because my mum locked her in a suitcase when they were kids. Um, the relationships I have with both of them now are obviously very different from when I was a child. So my sister. So like I said earlier on, me and my sister used to argue for England. Like we would argue so much and like physically argue as well to like a point where it was just like honestly ridiculous. Whereas now... Because we don't live together, I find we get along a lot better. Like we FaceTime like every single day, just to talk about nothing, which usually results in one of us hanging up on the other, being annoyed at. But we we get on so so much better. I think this year we're getting each other like Christmas presents, which is like the first time in a long time. <laughs> um. So yeah, me and my mum. Uh, I've always been closer to my mum than anyone else because I don't know. I feel like when we were kids, better we were always close to my stepdad and I feel like I've always been a mummy's kid um I might be wrong but that's just what I remember anyway um but yeah I remember especially when I got to like the age I've been a teenager and my mum used to start to tell me more things and we'd do more stuff to get like together I like, not that we obviously didn't do it when we were kids but I meant like just me and her that I can remember and we just like like I say like my mummy's my best friend like we just get on so so well which means because we're so similar don't get me wrong we argue <laughs> so I've gone for like a rose gold silver I don't know if you can actually see it on the camera but hopefully you will at some point <laughs> what's your favourite music oh this is just honestly a question I dread because I love music and I love everything <laughs> So I like, what I listen to daily is I just listen to like musical theatre songs because I just miss it so much. Like obviously if you know me, you know that I do musical theatre and dancing and stuff. So I listen to a lot of musicals to try and cure my heartbreak. But um, I very much like country, I, I love country music. I like music that is a lot older than me. And I very much like bluesy, raspy singing voices, if that makes any sense. Which is why I think I like like Robert Pattinson, Hugh Laurie. I also like rap and R and B and stuff, but I just don't really listen to new music anymore. Like I, I don't listen to the radio or anything like that. I don't know. It's just not like I used to love listening to the radio as a kid, especially like on the way to like dance and stuff, so that I could make dances up to it. But I just I don't know. I just don't like it anymore. I feel like I'm running, I'm either listening to Elvis Presley, Kenny Rogers or Kanye West. <laughs> Best year of your life. Obviously the year I had Jacob. But before that, I'd probably say like 2016. When I was at college, just turned 18, could go out, had a lot of friends, wasn't in a relationship with... Um, yeah, I just had a lot of fun. Uh, but apart from that, I know it sounds stupid because all that's gone on, but probably this, this year. Like, I mean... A happy, stable relationship. I'm bad fun with Jake, like, even though I've not got to see Charlie much, but it's good. Not good that I can't see him, you know what I mean? <laughs> um. And I know it's cheesy, but I'm proud of myself for everything that I've achieved this year and everything I've, I've got planned. I've got big plans for next year and I'm excited to put them into action and hopefully stuff will happen i've got one very big thing that i plan to do next year and i don't think it'll be finished by next year like as in it's hard to say about saying it it won't be complete by next year but i hope it'll be finished 
Like, I hope I'll finish it by the end of next year, but I don't think I'll be out there in the world yet. Because it takes money and time. Money that I don't quite have yet, but hope, like I say, hopefully one day I'll be able to tell you. So Charlie's asked what my favourite memory of him is. None. No. Um, I don't know. Like, we just have good times. Like, I, I enjoy that, like, everything I do with him, except when he annoys me, which is 99% of the time. Um, I liked it when we went when we went to Leeds, that were a good one. Uh, well, when we went to Filey with your mum, dad and Jacob and our Tom were there as well. That were a good long weekend. So I'm just going to pop on the KK Beauty Lashes in style at Tessa because they're of course my favourite, which you're probably fed up with hearing me tell you about now because I wear them all the time. But you can use code FAHE15 for money off at checkout. And last night I ordered some more lashes which I really liked the look of. So I'm excited to get them and maybe have a new favourite. So the next question is, what is my favourite cocktail? I don't even know because it changes every time I leave the house. <laughs> it used to be like I used to love a porn star martini or an espresso martini because I just love anything to do with coffee really. But I'll find in that like I just have like one porn star or one espresso martini. I just felt ill and I think it's because of all the like, it's quite creamy isn't it? It just makes me feel ill. So I can't drink them anymore. So I quite like like citrusy ones like a bar near me called Sinta. I do like a sherbet lemon one which I love. Oh, it's, there's a Sinta Lero as well which is really nice. So yeah, I quite like like lemony, citrusy ones or like a bubblegum daiquiri. That's a good one. I'm just telling you all the cocktails now. What do you have for breakfast? So this is pretty easy to answer because I eat like the same thing every day. Because I'm obviously on Slimming World. So for breakfast I will either have two Weetabix with red milk and candorel, which is like fake sugar. <laughs> or I will have porridge with, um, I'm mixing it, hot chocolate, the low fat hot chocolate just to give it a bit of taste or if I've got any sins left over I'll put a bit of jam on it sometimes a bit of fruit that will fairly easy to answer because that's all I eat oh I can't wait for Christmas to get my new Pee Louise base it's running low the biggest lie that you've told so I, see I have actually read this one because I had to ask my mum because I said to her like I don't know what to say because oh that no it wasn't this one it were another question saying what's something you've not admitted to your mum so I'm like I don't know what to say because obviously I've told like little white lies and stuff like you know, I didn't want to go to school to a party but I've never really like not admitted out to my mum because I just tell her everything like like get ready for TMI too much info but like the first time I was ever with a boyfriend or like I had to tell my mum because I was scared I was going to have a baby. <laughs> like, all everyone else my age were all, like, doing stuff and not telling anyone now, like, Mum, what if I'm pregnant? <laughs> oh, God, I feel like everyone's trying to, like, out me as, like, a horrible person in this video. <laughs> favourite drink um I drink 24 hours of my life every single day cherry pepsi max love and iced coffee I have like a massive jug two times a day of that I wonder why I don't sleep fake it till you make it best pet that you would like well, I have a cat and a dog so if I could have a monkey that'd be cool <laughs> I'm going heavy on the blush because it's Christmas and it's cold favourite cousin don't have a favourite again you're all weird in your own way couldn't answer that but if you want to message me I'll tell you privately I'm joking <laughs> what got you into makeup I said this in a video before about dance competitions and stuff but obviously since then I've previously done my big emotional video so I can now say that like around the time that that was happening um, I used to spend, because I couldn't leave the house <laughs> I used to spend a lot of my days just in my bedroom and that's when I got into glam makeup because like I said I was always into like crazy drawing on your face stuff 
from a young age. But that's what really got me into like glam. What's your bucket list? Oh, so me and Jonathan have created a bucket list. Found it. So what we did is we've got 10 things that we need to do. And we picked five things each. So I think this first one was mine. I don't know. It's all stuff that we both want to do, really. So number one, there's not in like any order either, but it's just the order I've written down, was to abseil forwards or backwards. Not just like a little one, like a big one as well. Uh, number two, which I know this one with Jonathan's because the thought of this makes me want to cry in a corner, but I'll do it. Train with Aunt Middleton. Uh, number three, I think is Jonathan's as well. I think the first five are Jonathan's and the second five are mine. Yeah, visit Austria, which would be amazing. Number uh, four is a swim with dolphins, which would be so cute. And number five, which is Jonathan's as well, eat some proper posh food. Now, if you know me and Jonathan, I bet you can't imagine that either, because I can't. So the next five are mine. So first one is to skydive. Like, I have always wanted to jump out of a plane more than anything. Uh, next is do three peaks, which we are hopefully planning to do next year, as long as COVID allows. Uh, then go to a rainforest, which I've costed earlier, and get hypnotised, because I just want to know what that feels like, especially because I've been watching Mentalist lately. And then the last one is swim underneath a waterfall. Now, I did do that when I was a kid at, like, a little one at just, like, a holiday resort thing that we were at. But, like, I'm talking, like, a beefy waterfall. <laughs> But yeah, if you have bucket lists, let me know. I love hearing people's bucket lists. I think they're so exciting. But yeah, me and Jonathan are very similar. So I feel like creating a bucket list to do together was just like the best thing to do because we both want to do the same things. And what better to do it with someone that you really enjoy spending time with and get on with. And that's the nicest thing I'll ever say to you. Don't expect any more than that. And please don't bully me. Who's your favourite brother from another mother? Of course, Jonathan, it's you. No, that really is the last nice thing I'm going to say. Dream job. Mm, I have like two. So I've always, always, always wanted to be a dance teacher, which I kind of do anyway. And I don't have my own school or anything, but if I ever had the money to that, would be good. And YouTube. Putting some red underneath my eyes to make it look a bit more festive. If you had one million pounds, what would you do? Um, I'd love, I'd love to sit and be like, I'd save it and I'd get a house and stuff. But honestly, I'd get a tummy tuck because the state that I've been left in after my c-section dramas which is like a whole other video when I do events I do my birth story as just it's not just like a normal really bad mum to me either it's like completely but like so bad I've actually applied to be on that show 12 times now <laughs> But a house as well would be nice if I could afford maybe learn how to drive. <laughs> you know, all the stuff that I probably should have already done by this age. Um, if you were in the jungle and a bear came out of nowhere and all you had was a toothbrush and a comb, what would you do? Um, cry. That is, honestly, I don't even have written down who wrote these questions. I know exactly who asked that. So cheers, Jonathan, because literally only you. Literally only you could ask that. A bear came out of nowhere and all you had with a toothbrush and a comb. Ask him if he wants his teeth brushing, his hair brushing, then we can be friends. Jab it in the eye with a comb. Run. Cry. Play dead. Ring my mum. <laughs> I don't know. Favourite song? <laughs> um, Jesse by Joshua Caddison because my mum named me after that song. Well, because of that song. Because she wanted me to grow up and not go through the crap that she did and have the life that she did sorry mum <laughs> but yeah that song does mean a lot to me and it does if i'm ever sad i listen to it and just cry and it makes me feel better <laughs> what celeb would you have a dinner date with again hugh laurie or robert pinton what motivates you to do makeup looks? I've been really unmotivated at the moment. Oh, I hope you're okay. Um, I think doing YouTube's like a big push motivation kind of thing because I know that I've got to get stuff out and be consistent in order to grow. I like to look at 
all the lovely girls and guys that I follow on Instagram and support them and sometimes seeing their looks inspires me and just if you're ever uninspired put a picture together of your first ever makeup look and your latest and look at the difference and I promise you it'll be big and again you can do anything it's just that simple Sorry if this has been the worst ever makeup video because I've been looking like there the whole time but I've answered your questions. At least you've got to see what's going on this side of the face. <laughs> I vouch for my next video that I'll have a better setup. Right, I'll be back in two seconds, we're going to get changed. So this is my finished Christmas glam and I said to mum last night and I said if I'm filming this video I'm absolutely wearing my dress for Nerd that I never got to wear because it was cancelled this year because of Covid. So I said I'm absolutely wearing it, I don't care if it's just to sit in my bedroom, it's getting warm. But yeah, thank you so, so much to everyone who asked questions. I hope I've answered everyone's and I hope that you enjoyed the answers. And yeah, if there's anything else that you want to know, do comment down below and ask me or find my Instagram or social media in the bio below and feel free to ask me anything you want. I'm pretty open. I will tell you probably too much and probably answer everything. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this glam makeup for a change. It's nice, I just want to, I don't want to take it off. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Just hear those sleigh bells sing a ling ding ding a ling a ling ding. Come on, let's sing with a whistling together with you. All oh, the shine of a thousand spotlights Oh, can't you see? I've lost my eyelash glue and it's coming off What am I gonna do?